Warning, quickly before you watch this video, it does contain spoilers. So, with that out of the way, let's move on. So, what is up guys? Duck and Sunglasses here today, I'm bringing you another video. And today I'm sharing with you my review of the BFG movie. And I went to go see it, not last night, but the night before, I believe. Yeah. And it was super good. I loved every minute of it. And uh, I'm just going to be telling you what I thought of it. So the beginning was good, but I felt it moved a little too fast. I think it should have explained a bit more about Sophie, the character. Well, I'm pretty sure most Roldal fans of me uh, probably already know her background because she's an orphan and her parents died. It does explain that later in the film, but I think it could have just... Well, I think it could have just said it a bit more in depth. And it missed out a critical bit from the book, but I'm not going to go see it because it's racist. But it, well, it's not racist, it says the children from Turkey taste like Turkey. And it missed out the, all the gibberish about that when it talked about all the mean giants. But other than that, the beginning was pretty good. The, the middle, the climax up to the main event, that was, it was funny. But, and it made you really feel sorry for the BFG, how he got beat up by the other giants, and how they went and smashed his, smashed his dream thing, dream collector, well, his collection of dreams, if you get what I mean. It's hard to explain. But, anyway, they smash his emporium of dreams and bottles, and they go on to just bully him throughout, and the main part of the of the story, like the top of the mountain, see, I was taught in school that uh, to have a good storyline, you've got to have the beginning here, the climax here, and the peak is the main event, solution and end. So on the story mountain, we're now up at the peak, the climax, well not the climax, at the top where something big happens and that's when they're all planning the big battle and I love that and then when the queen and the guard and the corgis have that fizzy juice I forgot what it's called and then they all start farting and then they all go and just fly up into the air it's amazing and then the final battle scene I think it could have lasted a bit longer so I think it was a bit rushed compared to the original BFG movie or the book but just, well, the book depends on how fastly you read. And the movie, I don't really know how to explain that. And once they've gotten rid of the giants and they give them all the snow's combos, that's it's pretty cool. So that's my overall review of the movie. And then let's go and in, look into the little bits of it. So I really liked uh, the, well, I found it a bit gross because I... I'm not a squeamish person, but that bit kind of made me cringe. When Sophie climbed inside the snow's cumber, I couldn't help but cringe at that bit. So I was like, because <laughs> all the slime and the slop, it's, it's horrible, it's disgusting. And when, uh, I find it cool how when Sophie was looking in that, how the BFG had that tree, but it had the room of his previous friend, I think it was. Uh, in there and it had like all the blueprints and then it had the ship in a bottle or the ship model it was all very interesting stuff and uh, those are the key moments that i found in the film leave in the comment section before below if you've seen the bfg then leave what your favorite part was but that's all from me thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next video good